tips on finding a pro bono, otherwise known as free attorney for your asylum case. This presentation is on how to increase your chances of getting a pro bono free attorney for your asylum case. Please make sure to also read our very detailed guide of pro bono attorneys that will be located in the description of this video as well as on our website. Important things to know. There is a high demand for free lawyers but limited number of free services. Therefore, the selection process is very competitive. This video will give you guidance on basic information you need to provide for when you contact the pro bono legal provider by phone or email, when you are called for a screening that will decide whether you will be selected. Contacting lawyers. You need to prepare basic information about yourself, such as your name, contact information, which is your phone number and your email, and make sure to provide both, and your physical address. Explace, explain what kind of legal representation you are looking for for asylum office interview or for immigration court relating to affirmative and defensive asylum, which you can learn more about on our website. If it is for immigration court, give the date of your hearing if you have one set. If you leave a message on voicemail, please prepare this information before you make the call and make sure to repeat clearly your name and contact information a second time. Caution. It may take some time to get a response for the next stage, which will be the screening process. Very important to remember is to keep a record of all of the lawyers or organizations you have contacted and the date you contacted them. This way you can follow up with them if you don't hear from them for a long time. How to prepare for the screening process. The screening process to learn more about your case will most likely be done by phone, either by a lawyer or an assistant in the law firm office. It is sometimes known as an intake call. It is very important that you call as it may determine is a very important call as it may determine whether you will be selected by a lawyer or not. You need to prepare ahead of time to make sure you read our guide in the video description. Most people who don't get selected often are due to not providing adequate information or not preparing well enough for the screening. Basic information to provide for screening call. Name, country of origin, date of arrival in the U.S., how you entered into the United States, and your current physical address. Reasons why you're applying for asylum might be race, religion, political persecution, sexual orientation, or other reasons that have left you afflicted in your home country. Explain if you have already submitted an application by yourself. Explain if you have been referred to immigration court and any pertaining details. And explain what types of evidence or proof you already have that support your asylum claim, which is very important. Important advice. Good preparation for the screening call is very important. It is like studying for an exam, which increases your chances of success. Please read the guide that gives you specific examples to prepare yourself as best as possible. Be prepared to face the stress of telling your difficult story over and over during each intake and screening as you cannot miss any details and make sure that everything has been provided to the lawyer that you are hoping to work with. Finally, you may be waiting for a long time before getting a response of whether you have or have not been selected. Don't forget to keep a record of all your conversations and communications up until a, de a decision is reached and what was said during those calls. Good luck. We are confident that if you follow these recommendations, as well as review the materials that we've provided, it will help increase your chances of getting a faster decision on whether a lawyer will choose to represent you or not. The Reef team is wishing you all the best. For more help regarding your asylum process, Reef offers a number of services and consultations. If you'd like to learn more, please email us at info at reefnyc.org. Thank you.